Hey y'all, it's your favorite on. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below to Nightcap YouTube channel so you never miss a single live stream or video of myself, Ocho, and Gil. Remember, Nightcap doesn't happen without you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thank you. Cam Newton says, Lamar means more to Baltimore than Ray Lewis. I was having a conversation <clears throat> by a, a native of Baltimore and he's like, Lamar Jackson means more to the city than Ray Lewis. He was asked, do you agree? Cam, I have to. Listen, man. And some certain fans, certain fans are just according to the moment. Certain yeah. certain fans according to the moment, and, and I you 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 can't forget. Let me let me take my glasses off, man. You can't forget what Ray Lewis is, is meant, not for just the city of Baltimore, to the NFL, to the linebacker position. Yeah, what Ray Lewis is meant to the players he was able to play against. What it felt like to be on that same field and understanding and knowing you sharing the field with one of the greatest of all time. And this is yes. somebody who had to who had to deal with him twice a year for a decade straight. <laughs> Lamar is great in his own right. I've been watching Lamar since high school. I've gone to the games and seen him play. So I understood yes. how dynamic and special he was way back before he even got to Louisville, before he even got to the Baltimore Ravens. So I understood and knew who Lamar Jackson was. And I already knew he was going to be special because he's one of those names that ring bells all throughout South Florida. Yeah. All throughout South Florida. But Ray Lewis is just, it's it's just different. I mean, he's, he's so different in, in such a way. I can't even conjure up the words to think on how special Ray Lewis is to me as a friend, you know, that, that, that I, that I confide in a friend yeah. that I talk to a friend that yeah. I pray with before every game, whether we're playing, whether we're playing each other or whether we weren't, it's just different. The man has a statue outside of that yeah. M&T bank stadium for a reason. Unk yeah. is different. Maybe you are better. I play at with him. It, so I know yeah, it. I, I think <laughs> maybe you might be a little better at putting it together. And than I am as far as how, how much he meant, to the game, not just Baltimore in general. Yeah, it, it, it's I, I can't even put in the word, but I had to take my glasses off. So, goddamn, I'm about to tear up. I'm about, I'm getting goddamn emotional. Shit, I don't. Man, it's I I, I can't I can't I can't. Put let me try to add maybe, some maybe you could maybe you could put in the words better for me. Yes, yes. Let me try. Let me try, Ocho. Bit my lip. The Ravens, the Cleveland Browns, are the new Baltimore Ravens. The Ravens were the old Cleveland Browns. They moved in 1996. Guess who was Jonathan Ogden was the first pick in Baltimore Ravens history. The second pick was Ray Lewis. Mm. When the Baltimore Ravens weren't winning anything, they had Sugar Bear. They had Ray Lewis. Mm. Ray oh, Lewis. Sugar. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I actually I gave, I gave him that name. You did? <laughs> I did. I absolutely did. Uh, yeah. When you look at the Baltimore Ravens and you think about where they were and look at when you think of the Ravens, you think of Ray Lewis. Now, I understand Lamar Jackson. Now, when it's all said and done, we might be having a different conversation. But you're talking about a guy that's a two-time defensive player of the year, a Super Bowl MVP. And when the Ravens didn't have a whole lot, they had that guy. They had 5-2. That laid it on the line. A very emotional, a very impactful player. You're talking about one of the greatest players in the history. The 100th anniversary team. One of the middle linebackers is Dick Buckus. The other is Ray Lewis. So I, I look. I, it, it's, it, can we have a discussion? Arguably, you're talking about the two greatest players in Raven history already. Obviously, you could make a case for Jonathan Ogden, but he's an offensive lineman, and he, they don't get normally the credit that a quarterback or a middle linebacker does. But when you're talking about the importance, you can't just look at the guy that, that has flash, and, and Lamar is sensational. And so I don't want people to take this wrong, but when you think about the Baltimore Ravens, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? Defense. Defense. When you think of a Raven, you think of Ray Lewis. He's the de facto right now. Like I said, when, we, when, when, when Lamar Jackson is done, we might be having a different conversation. But right now, he's the de facto Raven. He was it when the Ravens were, weren't very good. They had one guy that stood out and that you went to see. Mm -hmm. And that was 5-2. He was sideline to sideline. Side he was impactful. He was an emotional. Mm -hmm. He made sure every other player on that defense mm -hmm. played rose to the level that he demanded of himself. 
and he mm-hmm. expected nothing less from the players that played on that field with him. Most of the time, the 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 position and the stardom and the fame and the command of the eye and the ability to to fill seats normally comes from an offensive offensive position. Sometimes it's a, a stellar personality that's sometimes a quarterback mm-hmm. or sometimes a receiver. Very seldom are people coming to a game to see one defensive player. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. He's that one decent one defensive player. That's how impactful and special yeah. Ray Lewis was, yeah. man. It's different yes. and it's it is hard. I'm mad. I'm I'm fucking excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm a curse. That's five dollars in the pot. I'm mad. I can't put the words together to describe how special Ray Lewis was. And I am on the opposite end of the spectrum. Yeah. yeah. On offense, yeah, and having to play against him, and even I understand, as great as Lamar Jackson is, right now, Ray means so much more in a completely different stratosphere yeah. for that goddamn I, I, matter. It's it's it's, you, it's it's crazy. And the thing is, Ocho, I don't know how active in the community that Lamar is, but I know how active Ray Lewis was in the community and that how active that he still is. Mm -hmm. And like you said, there are very few guys and normally it's not middle linebackers. You go see the Lawrence Taylors. You go see the guys that chase down the quarterback. Mm -hmm. But Ray Lewis was a guy that you went to see because he was sideline to Mm sideline and he was a thumper. Mm -hmm. And so not only if you go in sideline to sideline, you watching him chase guys down, you watching him take big Mm -hmm. guys on. Um, and so we can we're gonna revisit this. I'm sure once Lamar Jackson's career is over, we'll mm-hmm. be able to to revisit this. But mm-hmm. what Ray has meant to that, the Raven way, the Raven is is Ray. When mm-hmm. you think of the Raven, you think of Ray. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, and that's no slight to Lamar. Like I said, nah. I'm I I think I don't know because I don't I'm not around the uh, the Ravens and I don't really follow that closely anymore. I don't really follow anything because I have mm-hmm. to have a general knowledge about the whole league. But I'm yeah. pretty pretty familiar with it, um, but man, uh, uh, you know, like I said, we can have this discussion. Um, Ed Reed, another guy that's dynamic that made the All Century team, uh, the greatest safety that I ever played against, and I mm-hmm. played against uh, 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 some great ones. Um, Ray, a seven time first team All Pro, a thirteen time Pro Bowl selection, uh, Ravens Ring of Honor. Uh, look. And the chat woman to mention uh, Ed. Look, I played against Ed early, early in his career. Yeah. And after taking him off on tape, watching him play, studying him after I left the league, I was convinced I had played against the greatest safety that had ever played, and he was only two or three years into his career. Mm-hmm. That's how – that's what – when I watched him on tape, yeah. when I played against him, and when I took him off on tape, after I left the league, I was convinced, and that's no disrespect – I played against I played against Ronnie. I played against Rod Woodson. I played against Troy Palomalu. I played against some, some guys that's in the hall. I played against Aeneas. Aeneas ended up moving to safety. He started as a corner. Ed Reed was the greatest safety that I played against, that I watched, that I played against, and that I took off on tape. Now, that's where I'm at. And some people might say, well, it's Ronnie. Or some people might say it's Rod Woodson. Or they might say it's, it's Troy Palomalu. Okay, that's fine. I'm not – I'm. But I'm just saying for what I saw, right? what I played against, that's where I am on that. Mm-hmm. But, guys, y'all do understand, Cam said Lamar Jackson means more to Baltimore than Ray Lewis. This was not a discussion who mm-hmm. who uh, Ed Reed uh, is better than Ray or that. Mm-hmm. I have to discuss what the topic was. Y'all right. bring in other things that wasn't even in the topic. <laughs> if, I ask, if I ask you for a burger... Don't tell me what why why you don't like chicken. Chicken is just as good as a burger. Damn, that wasn't the question. Mm. I like it. I like it though. That's that's a <laughs> tough one too. That's a tough one to talk about. That's yeah. a tough one to talk about because as as fans, we are so caught up in the now and we forget. We forget yeah. what was. Yeah. We forget what was. And I'm I ain't finna let that one fly. Not when it comes to sugar now. You, you ain't no. finna you ain't finna do sugar like that. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> We ain't even gonna do that.